Although it is often referred to as the continent's food for low income earners, grown mostly by these families for home consumption, sorghum holds the key to Kenya's arid and semi arid smallholder farmer challenges of improved incomes, nutrition, and food security. Traditionally, sorghum has been used in the preparation of porridge and ugali, a local delicacy. We mill millet flour for making porridge, of which we sell at the village. We sell like three 20 litre jerrycans per day. One jerrycan has 52 cups, and each cup we sell at 30 Kenyan shillings. We have really profited a lot from this agribusiness. With the help from agribusinesses such as Mbere Small Scale Farmers Association and Shalem Investments, a sorghum aggregating, trading, and processing farm based in Meru, sorghum farmers in three counties of Meru. Tharakanithi, Homa Bay and Kitui have been able to go commercial. The enterprising family-owned company has been inspired by interest shown by the brewing giant East African Breweries Limited in the Gadam Sogam, a white variety suitable for making beer, which guaranteed farmers a ready market as well as sparked a surge in sorghum prices. Uh, the East Africa Breweries uh, started using sorghum as a raw material uh, for uh, a cheap brand of beer and the Shalem was contracted as one of the agents. That really now sort of transformed our um, market demand uh, from a few bucks to thousands of uh, kilos. With a newfound cash crop, farmers now have enough money for their family upkeep and other needs such as education and health services. Shalem buys sorghum and sells it to East African breweries as a raw material for production of their products. The company works with over 20,000 smallholder farmers, offering premium prices to encourage quality and consistency of volumes. The company has bought more than 10,000 tons in the past three years. To make sure that distribution of the farmer's produce is not a problem, Shalem provides a market for the sorghum. This way, the farmers plant the sorghum and sell it to Shalem Investments. Since we started farming sorghum, we have really benefited. We would like to thank Shalem for bringing us sorghum agribusiness. With the other farm produce, the market is uncertain. But with sorghum, we grow it knowing exactly there is market for it. We are very happy. The idea is to commercialize sorghum production. The farmers who are clustered together aggregate the produce as a group in centralized located stores, giving them a better bargaining power and making the selling of their produce easier. To ensure the effectiveness of the clusters, farmers are mobilized into groups of 20 to 50 members. The groups are formed based on business indicators such as the type of the crop, the size of land and the farmer's capacity. The grouping can also be based on social indicators such as the empowerment of youth and women. East African Breweries purchases most of its grains from agents who collect the harvest from thousands of small farms. Shalem is working at building a network of agents to deliver agro inputs, improve aggregation efficiency and accelerate payment to farmers. I work with 24 farmer groups. After harvesting, they bring their produce here to my shop where I pay them. Then I take the produce to Shalem. Shalem have really helped me and they even brought me a weighing scale to improve aggregation efficiency. 
Previously, I used to use stings to measure the produce. I buy sorghum from the farmers and store here in my aggregation center. After aggregation, I call Shalem Investments who come here to collect the produce and they give me the payments. And I use that payment to pay the farmers. Shalem supplies mainly to agri-food processors, which can be processors that produce food for human consumption as well as animal consumption. Their largest customer at the moment is East Africa breweries who consume more sorghum than any other company. One of the biggest problems that Shalem Investments was facing with farmers was poor quality, farmers not using good agricultural practices and generally a lack of business mentality. Many farmers don't own a bank account and so they don't know how to structure their activities and how to approach farming as a business. Lack of financial means to invest also has been a significant problem which limits farmers' capacity to engage themselves in productive agribusiness. Specifically on uh, trainings on capacity building, the, the one activity that has really impacted the lives of the farmers and we've witnessed this is the village savings and loans associations. Uh, before, farmers uh, were, were doing merry-go-round and the ones that were doing village savings and loans, they were not doing it in the right way. They, they were saving, then at the end of the year, they, will, they, they share out all the money. But uh, with the training from uh, Two Scale and the, ones that we've, the, the training that we've been able to uh, relay on the farmers, they are now saving and starting their own project as groups. For instance, there are, there are groups that have been able to buy tents and then hire out to the community and you see that that one is um, uh, putting money back in their pockets. In a period of three months, I had saved 35,000 Kenyan shillings. I applied for a loan of 100,000 Kenyan shillings, which I used to buy a motorbike for 89,000 Kenyan shillings. Yeah, 86, 89, I then paid for insurance and started a motorcycle taxi business. This business has helped me in servicing the loan, and I have now finished paying the loan. To help achieve its mission of empowering farmers to produce high-quality crops for the markets, Shalem works closely with partners and one of their key partners has been the International Fertilizer Development Center, IFDC's two-scale project. The two-scale project towards sustainable clusters and agribusiness through learning and entrepreneurship program started in June 2012. The program is supported by a grant from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Netherlands through the Director General for Internal Cooperation of the Netherlands. With a partnership with the two-scale program in 2014, Shalem has transformed in the way they do business by adopting a business model in its operations. And uh, I would say um, the coming together with Two Scale now totally transformed our business. Because, uh, like I said earlier on, I had not been to a school in, you know, of business. And to be honest, I, I was making major mistakes, sometimes mistakes that cost money. We had never even developed a business model. But uh, Two Scale brought the expertise. We sat together in the boardroom and came up with a great business model. Actually, an award-winning, uh, in the year 2015, that business model won uh, uh, the Rubberbank uh, Incubator Award. And uh, from there, very many things changed about our business. The Shalem Two Scale Partnership covers a range of activities. Training programs have helped promote new high-yielding, disease-resistant hybrids and improved crop and soil management methods. 
Another collaborative front between the two organizations has been the Farmer Field School, in which a group of farmers jointly cultivates a demonstration plot using best practices, learning as they do. Every farmer field school has a facilitator to guide farmers through the season. This allows farmers to obtain practical trainings as well as educational material on sorghum value chain management. In the year 2016, we got partnership with IFDC, that is two skill program. And uh, when we got partnership with two, uh, IFDC two skill program, we, we, we added more activities. We, the IFDC helped us to recruit more members and also they helped us to, they helped us to mobilize more about SOGAM. Also, they helped us to train our members on agronomical practices. They, helped, they also they helped us to do field days and also they helped, they helped us with scenes and uh, fertilizers for the demonstration plots. I want to say that I'm very happy because uh, in our area, being a dry area, we have been promoting drought tolerant crops and in collaboration with the very small scale farmers forum, we identified two crops, that is sorghum and green grams, and uh, we have been working in collaboration to promote those two crops. And, uh, very small scale farmers forum has also been getting support from International Fertilizer Development Center and uh, in our activities to make sure that uh, farmers in our area adopt those crops. We have, been, we have been mobilizing many farmers to grow these crops through group trainings. We have also been having field days we have also been having exchange visits to areas where farmers are growing these crops and also where they are being supported by this uh, same International Fertilizer Development Center. And uh, from my observation, we are making good progress because now we have many farmers who have adopted to grow these crops. And we, as a Minister of Agriculture, we realize that we cannot be able to offer the farmers all what they need. And that's why we, we promote collaboration with those other stakeholders who can help us, who help the farmers achieve their objectives. In addition, farmer groups and cooperatives have been assisted to improve their financial and management skills. Farmers receive loans and with financial literacy training, they are able to diversify to other sources of livelihoods. Product development is one of the partnership areas between Shalem and the Two Scale Project. Two Scale Project support has helped the company diversify its product range. Shalem is set to launch a new fortified sorghum flour product for low-income families that will further expand market opportunities for small-scale producers. So, so the marketing of the product is one of the most difficult aspects, especially a new product like this. But uh, the market experts, uh, uh, with the support of Two Scale, have been able to sensitize or do market activation in churches, in, um, you know, through word of mouth, various women groups. Uh, they have identified women, uh, you know, ambassadors. We have even done uh, activation at the main uh, market, Kakoromone market. So we are really optimistic that uh, the selling of the product will uh, pick uh, faster. These collaborative activities have created a sustainable market for more than 20,000 smallholder farmers and created income generation for more than 200 people in the rural area. The overall activities of Shalem are now meeting the demands of Kenya's ever-growing needs for income, nutrition and food security. This has been made possible largely by partnerships with the Two Scale Project, giving opportunity to thousands and thousands of smallholder farmers. Last year, I got a lot of sorghum 
Madam Coordinator of Salem, my con link to my group with the CARO, the Kenya Agricultural Livestock Research Organization, that we multiply beans for the, for, for the research organization. So I got 300,000. I bought a plot. I used it to, sell, to have my store at home. But today, I have my own plot. Although I have not built, I will try and build it so that I will go to other storekeepers on the market. And even others, many have done so many things. On the side of children, we have many graduates from this, from this organization, from this program of Salem. We have many graduates. Parents have taken their schools to the better schools. Those who are wasting time going to day schools, today they can afford their children to go to boarding schools. That is also an advantage even to the country, not even to the, <laughs> to the, to the parent only.